Good morning, folks. We're starting with Comet Inky crossing the full Soho Lasco C3 frame. It finally exited to the right yesterday, and while it's easy to notice a big CME release from the far side of the sun, you might not have noticed the other comet. This one came in on the Kreutz path, and brightness began fading at the moment we saw the CME release. More on that in just a moment. We're over at spaceweathernews.com, and the last 24 hours on the Earth-facing disk was much calmer than the far side, apparently. No eruptions seen on this half of the sun, so we come to the solar wind. Slight density rise in orange this morning could herald a faster stream tonight, so eyes open for that. And on the left side, we finally see the bulk mass of another significant coronal hole. It'll face Earth as that CME we saw at the start begins to couple with Earth, so a major earthquake event could be at hand in the coming days. More on that in a moment. First, let's check in on what could end up being the Electric Universe discovery of the year so far. 70% of the red giant stars and clusters of our own Milky Way galaxy, the ones that were studied, have their polar fields and rotation aligned. Now, they try to hypothesize some momentum transfer action on forming stars due to the star quake resonance, and that is so darn close to calling it a resonance-based Cladney-like setup with the song of the vibrations creating order out of chaos. Up next, this 2014 study was largely swept under the rug by half the climate debaters, but now, three years later, it has been confirmed. While the authors fend off trolls by offering some nods to anthropogenic sources, the point is clear and now confirmed. The major melts in the north are driven by the same lagged atmospheric circulation factors we've seen under the control of the sun. We'll take a quick drought look here. Wouldn't worry too much about the developing drought in the center and the east. Spring should take care of that, but the only part of California not relieved of their drought is the south, and I don't see rain coming to you for days and days. Probably because the cloud gremlins stole it all and brought it to the northeast. Holy cow, some of the images and video coming in from the snowstorm are epic. The snow is piling up, wind so strong, wind turbines don't stand a chance, and neither do you if it's icy and you catch a significant gust a millisecond after stepping forward. Hello. The storm subsides now and the big dogs are called in to clean up. They do their job extraordinarily well, so it is okay for them to kick off and relax after a hard day's work. All joking aside, gotta teach my dogs to do this. But you know, when you get a nor'easter that bombs out like this with one toe in the water, the tides and surge are going to be powerful. This sequence comes in from Portland Head in Maine. Doesn't look too swim friendly, and it isn't. Folks, it's not rainwater causing flooding. It is oceanic inundation as massive waves put coastal towns underwater. Folks, the USGS emailed me yesterday and wanted to wish you all good luck in your earthquake forecasting, but also to give us a link with definitions of prediction versus forecast, different kinds of earthquake forecasting, how to measure success, pretty much a complete guide to how they'd want to see it done. A new link can be found in the guidelines post, which most of you are following with your forecast, and that's great to see. All in all, the message is that the system and definitions exist. They have their own repository for geologists with computer models and complex formulae, and now we have ours. With the Corona Hole and CME coupling coming up, our first legitimate chance for someone to win the 7.5 forecast contest could be coming up soon. Suspiciousobservers.org website members, you got another deeper look yesterday. It was also posted to the Quake Watch members tips area as it was again about the forecasting. We've got your pressure and radar forecasts here, a null school global run and shots of our star to close. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.